Voice check, voice check. Voice check. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the World Tour Racing Club live stream of the Hancock GT Championship. And we are at Suzuka today for round four. And we are live from Suzuka. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. Like the previous rounds, we will be starting qualifying in 15 minutes and the race will be 50 minutes with the guys starting on a limited amount of fuel. At the moment the championship is close up at top but also in the back and in the lobby we have already joined Enrico Playborst, TAG Ultimate Sim, Morris Garage and as guest driver today we have TAG Belkin TAG Belkin will t today be driving as a no points driver uh, Belkin is here to drive with us to have some fun uh, he will keep in mind that he is coming to join a championship that's almost running at its end so he will be careful around the track today welcome on board with us Belkin and we wish you a Good luck today on the race. We're at Suzuka, early morning. It's a bit misty out there. Still a bit cold, the track. And we all will be driving the beautiful McLaren 650S GT3 from 2015. As you can see up top on the screen, we already can see some liveries of the guys. And we will immediately, of course, head over into pit lane where we already can see Enrico Playboy Borst he's standing ready to start the qualifying also Jack Clark he's ready we 
we are waiting on all the drivers to start coming in unfortunately we do have a retirement from the championship and that's unfortunately our championship leader so Kevin uh, so Kevin he is gonna be focusing on a different championship that he is in that's a team championship and uh, as he has to drive the stint that clashes with the GT championship here uh, so we wish uh, Kevin the best of luck out there this means that the championship is oh, actually opening up a bit more again and giving again others also now the chance to catch up not a big difference in the championship it's it's getting close to each other we're at round four after this one we are heading over to Le Mans for the finals and that will be a 90 minute race on Le Mans and everybody will be allowed to choose one of the four cars that we have been using during this championship so it's a free use of one of the four cars they can use whatever they prefer for the final round what suits them the best what maybe has the max speed maybe good cornering whatever the drivers like the most and battle the final round out for nine, 90 minutes it will be so one hour and a half racing will be the final round but here today at Suzuka it's 50 minutes and I'm just quickly going to set up everything on display because as we are going to start qualifying in 11 minutes also TAG TS040 here today he missed some rounds but he's here today and he has brought on track today a bit of a special livery I cannot leave it behind not mentioning it but TGT is 040 he is driving my youngest son his favorite car and my youngest son his personal livery we will be seeing Belkin also going around on track today and Belkin he drives also for Chase a charity group so he also wants to get as much racing in as possible uh, we're still missing some guys on the grids but we still have 10 minutes 9 minutes left before we start qualifying TAG Sonam he is also here on the grid now I'm quickly gonna hop out so that I can see a bit better on the sides So quarter past eight in nine minutes, I will be starting the qualifying. Now during qualifying guys can still come in, but that might mean that they won't be able to do a qualifying lap, maybe just one, because the qualifying is 15 minutes and it's timed here on the clock from zero to 15. Once we hit 15, I instantly push a race start. So as the championship is standing right now, we have in the championship in with 86 points, it's so Kevin. In P2, it's 78 points for a RTA Cullinan. In P3, it's 76 points for TAG Ultimate Sin, so those two are really close to each other. Then in fourth place, we have TAG Mike 65 with 58 points. And in fifth, it's TAG Sonam, 82.46, with 50 points. So it's all a bit close, because the final round at Le Mans is a double pointer. 
so that might turn things around but I guess everybody and all the drivers they're definitely aware of the max that they have to get out of this fourth round today with only one round left after this one and we have RTA Cullinan also coming into the lobby Uh, we have seven minutes until qualifying. I will be talking you through all the action today from qualifying up to the checkered flag so if you're following the live stream on YouTube please do leave a, a comment hello good evening Andrew on the YouTube channel we also have Corey good evening Corey and Kevin Hugh is apologizing for his retirement but as race director I had a private chat with Kevin and no worries Kevin I completely understand and to say a word about Suzuka well Suzuka well, it's a world, it's a world famous track. Uh, it's a fast track, uh, with of course the sweepy bit after turn one and turn two. Then with the long back straight, that's full power up until the sh final chicane. It's short, so. I think we're gonna have some nice close battles here today. And while the sun is starting to come up over the track, we have five minutes until qualifying. watching closely to the clock we are counting down with four minutes to go I'm just checking my list who we are missing here today we know that Kneter Bas he's excused from the race here and RTR Dylan also unfortunately he has left the championship due to uh, personal uh, issues and he explained to me and I can only show respect for him and hopefully we will see him back in the near future.
so far the championship has actually been amazing actually has been amazing we have had actually two issues two minor issues and that got sorted out between the drivers which is really nice but we still hold our breath a little bit with Gran Turismo 7 not being the stable game as it should be but so far so good so the I'm quickly putting on the lobby settings and here we are going to see that the tire wear today is times one and the fuel consumption of the cars is times two and the guys will be starting the race with only 45 liters of fuel so not a full tank so like last round maybe a gamble Will it be softs? Will it be mediums? Will it even be hard tires? Don't know. We will see. The guys have been practicing and... We will see what strategies the guys will be taking on. And we have one minute left. One minute left before qualifying. And I'm preparing my message. And it is quarter past eight. And it's green light, start of qualification, now. So we are immediately going up onto the track and it's Enrico Playborst coming out the pit lane on his out lap. We see, oh, it's swiping a bit faster than I wanted to. Here we have RTA Cullinan. DG TS040. DG Sonam 8246. DG Ultimate Sin. DG Mike. And Morris is coming out with the McLaren West car. Do I have to mention Morris? I love that livery. I used to be a fan of those guys. <laughs> and I was just gonna say, our friend Belkin. Alright, he's also left pit lane now. Also a stunning livery. With the nice face up front of the car as his support for charity and display all the info and there we go and we're gonna quickly head up to Cullinan as he will be the first one to cross the line to set his first lap here we have TSG TS040 also still on his out lap warming up the tires the man with the Pokemon car and Enrico Playborst also a stunning livery of golf on that McLaren oh okay there he is and we're off for the first laps guys. Saw them coming through the chicane. Ultimate Sin. 
also. Morris coming up to the chicane. Belkin, he will be a little bit later through the chicane. Waited a bit in pit lane. That's no problem with that. And Cohen and on his first lap. on the RS tires I'm guessing everybody will be on the RS tires to start this off chicane for Cullinan what the first lap will be a 158.3 for Cullinan TSG TSO for all a 2.011 quickly going to Eric his lap time a 203 and Mike a 212.9. We see that Eric did move up 203.6 P4 now for Eric. Mike Morris Garage he comes across the line. We did miss Ultimate since I'm after Morris going quickly over there. See what Morris does a 2.9 that puts him in P3. Sonam. A 158.5 and what was ultimate sim? A 2011. So this battle is on. Let's go. So we have two guys now. Cullinan and Sonam. They're under the two minutes. Morris really close. Very close. Just under a second. He's improving his time. Three tenths now. Well, it's still a cold morning, so tires do take some time to heat up well. And the McLaren is pretty good here to drive. Look at that. Four tenths now. It's almost a half a second faster. Ultimate Sin. He had a 2011. Let's see what he. Is he improving on his sector times? I'm guessing everybody will be a bit as fuel drops down. went off there a moment quickly going to Cullinan a 158 0 for Cullinan and he's again purple in sector 1 Sonam his previous lap was a 204 so I guess there was a mistake there but we still have time ultimate sin look at that a two minute point one so everybody's pushing to get under that two minute marker a 2.3 for TSG TSO for all and seven ten um, eight tenths up from his previous sector time oh and TSG Mike Let 
mistake there. No damage. So he did save it nicely. Now it's more is doing. Lap 4 now. 3 tenths up from his fastest lap in this sector. He had a little mistake there. Let's see Colin and now. His lap time. That's a 2.4.4. So I guess for Colin and also a mistake somewhere, but he has sewn him closely. Half a second. On qualifying. Let's see if Sonam can improve. Oh, nice, a 158.1. That's very close. That's one tenth of Cullinan. Then we have in P3 at the moment, TSG TS040. He did a 159.1. And he's improving on sector times. Ultimate sin, two, two minutes, zero. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming under the two minutes. Trying to. Morris, two minute point four. Everybody's going faster and faster as the fuel tank drops. DSG Belkin, also at two minute point eight. Mike's fastest lap time at two minute point nine. It's all really close. Eric we have from Eric we have a 2.3.6 up to Colonel again now is he on purple or not he's on purple just under one tenth <coughs> sorry Did he come out better now? Out of the chicane. There you go, 157.7. That's an amazing lap by Cullinan. Opening up that gap again with Sonam. Oh, you know Sonam, Suzuka and Sonam. That's fast racing. Oh, he gets a penalty out of there. I was just gonna say Sonam, that was a bit too much. It was a 158.0. Unfortunately, he will lose a second on his lap time. We have four minutes of qualifying left. I do quickly have to put it in the chat, guys. I'm so excited watching this. TSG Mike in pit lane. He, okay, he's back out again. He got some new Hankook tires on it and he nicely lets Eric pass. Eric's previous lap was his fastest lap. A 2 minute 2.8. So still in P1. It's Cullinan. Is he still improving? He is, he is two tenths up of that 57.7. Push it through the chicane. Avoid a penalty, he does, he does. A 157.5. Sliding, sliding, but he holds on. Mm. 
We have three minutes of qualifying left, guys. So that should be able for everybody to do one more lap. I'm still in, P in P3. TRG TS 040. His fastest lap was a 159.0. Ultimate Sin a 159.5. And Morris, a 2 minute 4. And he has Belking on a 2 minute 8. And our friend TSG Mike, a 2 minute 9. Now this was his outlap because he went in for fresh handcook rubbers. And he's low on fuel, so he, if he pushes now... He has two minutes left, Mike. So he could set himself more back up to the front if he runs this one perfectly. So it will be when Mike, I'm looking at the clock. When Mike crosses the line, it will be race start. And we have somebody off there. Who was that? Quickly. Oh, it's Morris. Looking up front. 157.5 from Kona. 156. Sonom is close to the top three. There's a half a second between them. And let's see what Mike now can do. It was looking a bit like a struggle for Mike at the beginning, but now that the fuel has gone down and fresh rubber, it works better for him now. There you go, 1.2 seconds faster. Then his fastest lap. Final chicane. Hope he doesn't pick up that penalty. He won't, he won't. Nicely through, full power out now. Staying on the inside. There you go. Crossing the line. That's a 159.7, putting him in P5. Very nice done by Mike. And Sonam, he has beaten it. He has done it. It's a 157.3. But we do have to start the race, guys. With two tens behind is Cullinan. We are off. Great qualifying, great qualifying. A final improvement by Sonam, a final improvement by TSG Mike. Maybe also for Mike a little mind reset. Fresh tires, let's go. Let's put it aside the first four laps. And let's head over to the start of the race guys with TSG Sonam and Cullinan and TSO for up front and we are with Sonam and why again like last time I cannot do anything about it then only go on board that was a previous round also all right, Colonel. I do have to check if everybody got through nicely. One, two, three. Ultimate sin also. P5, Mike. Mike immediately on the attack. On ultimate sin. We are with Morris now. West McLaren
Morris playing it smart. He sees those two guys on the first lap close to each other. They're all on icy cold tires. We're still in the morning, early morning. Here we are with Belkin. The Sonom 1.3 lead. Sorry guys, I'm trying to change the camera. And it won't let me... It won't show me what I want to do. I'm missing one camera view. for now small penalty there for Cullinan that she came there is a penalty there half a second or a second is there in that she came as I mentioned in previous rounds I cannot see the timing, I only see laps, so that's all Gran Turismo 7 issues, also the camera view now, I'll stay in this view guys until P3, TGTS 040, so colon and a half a second. is 040 he sees that so he knows let's get close now because once that penalty zone is there ultimate sin he's also close up we know Mike is there where's Mike here's Mike right behind ultimate sin So the guess now is how long will these guys last on their 45 liters of fuel? Is somebody in this field fuel saving or not? Morris, he's four seconds now behind Mike. We're on lap 2 now guys, so... It's very obvious that everybody is driving a bit with cautions. Final round, round five at Le Mans. That will be a round with perfect race conditions. Full sun, good temperatures. So that everybody can push for that final time. We're going around Le Mans then for 90 minutes. And a purple now for Sonam. Sonam. Pushing it, he wants to open that gap as much as possible. Give him s himself some breathing time. In the meantime, Cullinan. One point seven on TS O four O. to Mike and Ultimate Sin, those two were from the start off close to each other. Improvement on Ultimate Sin, his sector time. One 
159.7 now for ultimate sin. 159.6. So they're doing the same lap times. Mike and ultimate sin. Ultimate sin, he needed some time there to get control of the McLaren. And Morris and Belkin and Belkin he has passed Enrico Playborst don't know did Eric make a mistake we missed that guess he did these guys are Belkin he's doing lap times of two minutes now and his last lap was a two minute and now his last Eric his last lap was a 202 but that doesn't say much if you watch this because these guys stick together and let's go quickly back up to Mike and Ultimus and that gap has opened to 1.1 seconds TS040 He has gained a little bit on Cullinan And Sonam 5 seconds now for Sonam the Last lap was a 57 Previous lap was also a 57 mentions on the YouTube channel people asking for Adam to stay off the grass well so far I haven't seen him on the grass I'm gonna see if I can change the camera guys it's nicer to see the cars pass by no I can't Ultimate Sin, 159.6, his previous lap, that's good, he's coming closer to TSO 4 As TSO 4 he's also doing 59s, low 59 and Ultimate Sin high 59s, but... A mistake here on Suzuki, it's quickly made. You lose quickly time, but out of a full grid, I think doing this perfectly without even one mistake. Where is our friend Mike? Now he's five seconds behind Ultimate Sun. So something must have happened with Mike. There's no damage on the car, but he did lose time there, as that's a 202. And Morris. Morris performed previous round really strong. Well. You never know what happens, so... For me it's looking like everybody is just safeguarding their car. And we do hear the tires of all the McLarens scream a bit.
up front. Sonam, 6.2 seconds now. So in the last two laps he gained another second. And he is on purple, improved his fastest lap of a 157A. Final chicane for Sonam. This will be 157.7. Sonam, he is only going faster and faster. Cullinan doing Oh, he's now 2.7 seconds behind Colonel. Personal best sector now for TSO for all. To miss him. His last lap was back at up to a two minute. And he has 4.2 seconds now on Mike. And Mike, he has Morris behind him, 4.7 seconds. seven at the moment Eric he did get past Belkin again uh, let's, let's just stick for a moment with these guys Belkin having a look on the inside switch up back up front and see how it is going on fuel and tires so it's gonna be a little bit of a guess who is gonna come in who's not gonna come in I guess during training the past week these guys will have discovered that you can play around a bit with your pit strategy here Some undercuts are possible here. And Steergy Mike, he has come in now.
His last lap was a 159.4. We have Eric passing by now. Is Eric gonna come in or not? No, Eric stays out. What's Belkin doing? He's also staying out, yes. Sonam, 7.7 second lead now on Cullinan. Cullinan oh, doing nicely, 58s. And looking at TSO for all, 59s. So the top three are doing a very steady pace. Ultimate Sin also 59s. Do have a P on lap 7. Oh, that's a penalty. Okay. Ultimate Sin, he has 10 seconds on Morris. And Mike, where did he come out? Mike came out in P7 right behind. Enrico Playborst, Enrico Playborst, he lets him pass. He knows Mike is on better tires. And Sonam, Sonam is in pit lane. Yeah, he needed fuel. And it's TSO 40 who keeps going. And Cullinan also. So the top two still have to come in. Ultimate Sin also. Let's see if somebody switches tire compound or not. Sonam, he comes out in P5. Just looking, Mike, where is Mike? We also, we always have to wait a bit for the time to settle down. And we can see the time differences, 18 seconds now. For the first two that came into pit lane. Belkin also in now. So the top three, they still have to pit, all three of them. The top four. Four, yeah. We have Sonam and Mike. They have already had their first pit stop of the evening. coming through he will be coming in now for fuel and I'm guessing TS overall also ultimate sin will he be coming in he also comes in all right let's hope these crews work fast our P4 man and Morris also into pit lane here we go Fresh Fresh rubber for TSO for all. <coughs> Colonel and Sonam have passed these guys. TSO for all, he's first one out. Fuel and tires, ultimate sin. Fuel and tires. And then here we have immediately a battle. 4-5. Mike who has already come in and is on warm tires. Ultimate Sim. Hopefully for him he can stick close to Mike now. First get the heat into, into those tires. Eric also into pit lane now. 
and the golf McLaren on fresh rubber and fuel he does have I don't know who that was that pass uh, that was Belkin all right Belkin flashing his lights letting Eric know watch out I'm on full speed on track thank you Eric for to hold back a little bit keep it all nice clean and safe because that's what we have seen so far in this championship no issues no complaints really and so on 3.2 seconds now on Colin so Colin did gain with coming in a lap later than Sonam he gained about three seconds on that three four seconds will that be enough ten point four seconds now behind his TSO for all and we're on lap twelve now Follow TSG Mike and TSG Ultimate Sim. seconds on Morris and we know that Belkin and Eric they were all so close now Eric on pit exit he did let Belkin nicely pass through two point six seconds now for Colin, he's gaining time. Colin P two. And he has 12 seconds on TSO for all. Mike and Ultimate Sim. 1.7. See when Ultimate Sim crosses the line. 1.7 and these two are doing the same lap times and Belkin and Eric here 2.3 seconds between these two Fastest lap now, personal fastest lap for Eric at 2.2.3. So um, he's also back into a steady pace now. Three seconds is gained on Colin. gap between Conan and TSO Fro is opening up a bit more. 13 seconds now. Oh, and something happened there because... Oh, Mike went off there. We just missed it. 
so Ultimus and got past got past Mike sitting him now in P4 Um, that must have been a small mistake by Mike because there was not even two seconds between those guys. Six. He's gaining time on Mike. Don't think Mike has damage. No, he doesn't. Guess he just ran wild. Ultimate's in 9.8 seconds on TSO 4 0. Fourteen guys. And Sonam again back into his steady pace. Colin and also TSO for O also. trying to come back we see the time dropping with ultimate sin DJ Mike taking some grass with him it's only a sign that we're pushing. Morris, he's 24 seconds clear of Belkin. And Eric and Belkin, 4.2 seconds between the two. And so on. Back up to the front. So for all but at 14.9 seconds now. But we're not there yet, we're not there yet. We saw just a tiny mistake, like Mike just had previous lap. It's just enough to Sin. He has 2.9 on Mike. Of 17 seconds behind him, it's Morris. And we have Belkin and Eric. P8 for Eric. 
Now, just to remind that uh, TSG Belkin here that his result will be taken aside as we're coming to the end of the championship. So that would mean that Eric will be in the end results uh, P7. But we're not there yet, we're not there, so head up front and let's see what Sonam and Colin and these guys are doing because they're 2.8 seconds between them it stays steady Colin he did just lap 15 set his fastest lap of 58.1 while Sonam does a 57.7 fastest lap of the race this evening so far Sector time now for TAG TSO for all. Personal best so far. Ultimate Sin and Mike. 1.7 seconds again between these two. Also improving his sector times. Wanna have a look with Belking now. His fastest lap was lap 15, two laps ago. A two minute point seven. He's seven tenths down from his Personal best sector time. And Eric, he's doing 203s at the moment. His fastest lap was lap 12 of a 202.3. But fastest lap of the race is still for this man, TAG Sonam, 82.46 with 157.7. And Colin, and he's there in the background, 3.2 seconds, Sonam has now. So just a reminder, I cannot see the time until race ends, how many minutes there are left. I only see the laps, as you can see on the screen, in the left top corner. So for me, it's also a guess when the checkered flag, when the 50 minutes, 50 minutes will be done. One fifty-seven nine for Sonam, and we have Colonel who com is coming into pit lane. Now that's a bit of a surprise. 
like I said, the guys trained the past week, so there are several strategies possible here. You can you can adjust during race, of course. Fuel and tires for Cullinan. Mike, also the man that came in early, also in now. Here he is. He's in P5 at the moment. So we know that Colin and Mike again, they have come in. So the leaders, Sonam and TSO for all. Will this guy spit? Sorry, I swiped a bit too fast. Cullinan, he's 4.1 seconds behind TSO for all. Now Cullinan, he just came out of here. He's on his outlap. Then Ultimate Sin and TSG Mike, 25.6, but... I can't say if these guys are still gonna come in or not, what their, their strategy is. Oh, Morris going very wide there. Oh. And slides out there and it hits the barrier. Front splitter, back splitter. Damage. And his suspensions. Just went a bit too wide out of there and just slide it off the track. Well, damage is on light, so the cars, they do repair automatically. After some time, there you go. His car is repaired again. He doesn't lose position, but he did lose a lot of time on Belkin. Three point one seconds he has on TSO for all. Now P two and P three. We know Cullinan here. He has come in, and he's on purple, trying to go for a fast lap. Being the fastest lap of the race, it will be a 2.2 seconds on TSO for OMP2 and Ultimate Sin and Mike 24 7 but we know Mike came in so
Morris P6. And Belkin coming in. Oh yeah, Belkin, he needs fuel. This means that Eric, he can keep going. Eric has more than enough of fuel. Twenty-four seconds on the lead. TG Sonam, he does come across Belkin who just came out of pit lane. Now Belkin knows. Yeah. Nicely done, Belkin, thank you very much. To let the leader pass. No reason to fight Sonam of course. TSO for all. Let's see. 1.3 between him and Cullinan. P2 between P3. We do see that the tire wear on Cullinan is his car has of course started. Ultimate sim P4. Now we have Mike, he came in, so 24 5. But there is a pit stop between these two. We're on lap 22 now. Morris. He's got 20 second lead on Enrico Playborst. Eric, did he make a mistake somewhere? Because I all of a sudden see that Belkin is coming really close, sir. quickly. Eric, he does have blue flags, so just let's just take it easy through the chicane, and then let me show. There you go, Eric. He moves aside to let the leader pass. Thank you, Eric. We did have some dropouts now during the championship, some retirements, so all these guys they all take nice points and it's definitely gonna be a switch into the championship once everything is counted out after the race, 23-5. Doing his absolute best to keep Cullinan behind 1.4, 1.5 seconds. Personal best sector time now for TS040. Again, three tenths up from his best. He's doing everything to keep this man, RTA Cohen, behind. Ultimate Sen. He doesn't have a threat really close. Mike also. He's also nice and safe out there. Morris also. Uh, the times between these guys are a lot. Only Eric and Belkin, 2.3 seconds. So that's, that is that uh, Eric must have made a mistake because Belkin went into the pit lane. Eric didn't. So that gap has closed down. Going back up front, Sonam, 23.2. That time is, is dropping a little bit. With TSO 4 0, 1.2 seconds. Between TSO 4 and Conan now setting up his best lap now at 20 
at 58-1 now. Battle is on between these two. One point one seconds. Will TSO for all be able to keep that P two? We know that Colin is on the better Hancocks. Ultimate sim P four, fourteen seconds, so he not a danger to these two. I'm quickly switching to Eric. Oh, sorry, Eric and Belkin. 1.7 seconds it was, now it's... Under a second now between Cullinan and TSO 4 Eight tenths. Let's quickly go on board with with uh, Cullinan. Half a second, but we're coming up to the chicane, so so it's really coming down now to the exit of that chicane. Putting that power down. There is a slipstream. But you're coming up to a braking zone, so... TSO for all, he's not leaving any room. Keeping it nice and tight through everything. I call this the twisty bit. I hear another tricky part of the track. Then going under the bridge. Now that hard braking zone coming up. Ooh, little contact there. But TSO for all, he held on. Just putting the power down at the right moment. Not giving the other McLaren a chance. Colin and he's looking in every way. Where can I do it? Can I try it? This is really close between these guys. Coming up to the chicane. Break, 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 break. Shut the door by TSO for all. Oh! Colin just, oh, Colin lost it. Colin has lost it and rammed into the pit lane. Oh, that's unfortunate. And it's a win for TSO 4 0. That came down to the last, last, last corner, last lap. Saw them on his final lap. 24 6 seconds lead. Great fight out there by Cullinan and TSO for all. Enrico Playborst, well done. Belkin also well done, crossing that line. Ultimate Sin also. We're now just with the leader. Here we are on board with him and you see him sitting. TSG Sonam, what a race by him. What a performance. 24 second lead on P2 and it's also going to be a plus one lap for the whole field. Mike also has crossed the line. Congratulations Mike on P4. Morris in P6. Here he goes. 
for the final time this she came through nice and steady well done Morris coming across the line check taking checkered flag and we're going up to the leader who is doing one more lap than all the rest flashing the lights congratulations TAG Sonam I'm quickly screenshotting the results there just a second guys we'll be right back on there you go and it's a victory of a TAG Sonam a pole position and a clean race star beautiful performance guys beautiful performance congratulations to you TSG TS040 on P2 and RTA Cullinan on P3. That was a great race, guys. It was close, close, close till the final lap. Well done, everybody. And yeah, uh, like Adam where I'm here says on the stream, he did uh, personally promise my youngest son a podium with the Pokemon livery and my son his favorite car thank you very much for that honor Adam he's really happy with it all right <laughs> my younger son putting up a fist but a fist up for everybody yes guys see you all next round this was an amazing round we will be back uh, in two weeks time and then we're going for the final round guys Le Mans 90 minutes and a reminder you can choose one of the four cars that the guys have been using during this championship it will definitely be a challenge on the 20 kilometer uh, I'm sorry at the long Le Mans track I'm getting a bit confused and a bit excited but what a great race today what a great race today thanks all for joining here onto the chat yes Andrew no worries it was my pleasure again to stream for you guys and we'll s I'll see you guys back at Le Mans for the final round guys thanks very much for joining and stay safe out there and have a nice evening have a nice weekend and see you all back soon Good evening and bye-bye.